Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net. Still at CES 2015, we have a bunch of coverage on, online already. All this coverage brought to you by CyberPower and the new Cyber Vapor Gaming PC. This is AMD's FreeSync technology. We saw this at CES last year. It's finally here, it's a few weeks away. And FreeSync is, unlike G-Sync, it's a totally free, uh, effectively hardware-less design. It's sort of like flipping a bit in the display. Most of the display panel manufacturers are supporting FreeSync now, about 95% of them. So it's looking good for the tech. And we can see it here with this windmill display, which is what was on display last year. It's just been uh, amped up a bit. And then there's also a Tomb Raider display that will B-roll in for you. So the main thing with FreeSync is, like G-Sync, it is eliminating tearing and stuttering. V-Sync we generally recommend in our game guides to disable because it's introducing stuttering. And in a lot of cases, we'd prefer tearing. Uh, tearing looks like this, where you're, you're get, it looks like the textures are sort of uh, lagging behind what our frame rate is. With FreeSync on, the display is slaving to the GPU, so it's an adaptive refresh rate. And with it off, we're hitting, uh, in the instance of this 60 hertz monitor, the, the monitor is expecting a frame from the GPU every 16 milliseconds. So if the GPU misses that mark, then you're displaying a frame again, and that's where, uh, where we get the issues. One item of note with FreeSync, as opposed to G-Sync, is that it will be compatible if you run a non-native resolution on the display. And there aren't a lot of use cases for this, but in HTPC environments, you might want to run a, a lower than native resolution, because from a far back distance, you don't want the text and things like that to be too small, and it'll still look fine on 720. So FreeSync is compatible in that use case scenario. In terms of video card support, it's compatible with effectively every current AMD GPU and current APU, uh, but it is not compatible with the 270 or 280. The chip is current gen, but the display controller is last gen. Uh, so 270 and 280 will not be supporting uh, FreeSync, but the next gen is expected to support it. Other than that, Panel support and display support, it works on 1440 uh, at 144 hertz, it works on 4K at 60 hertz, 2560 ultra wide, uh, 2560 by 1080 is compatible as well. So you've got every uh, monitor resolution uh, refresh rate and most of the GPUs. There's a marginal price increase for testing and validation reasons, uh, but we're told that it should not be quite as big a jump as G-Sync is, and we'll, we'll follow up with coverage on that. So that is FreeSync. Check the link in the description below for more coverage on this, and I will see you all next time.